Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of How to Draw Cars. My name is Michael, and today we're going to do something a little bit different in the sense that we're going to combine the three videos that we've done previously into one video. So we're going to talk about wheels, we're going to talk about line weight, and we're going to talk about line quality. We're going to do that with a new video series called Improve My Car Sketch. This sketch was sent in by BK, one of the students in the How to Draw Cars tutoring program. If you want to get better, if you want to apply to university, if you want to apply for a scholarship, come over to howtodrawcars.net and sign up for a session. So what I'm going to do is a redraw of BK's design, not focusing too much on the design, but more on three most important aspects of any car design drawing. We're going to start out looking at the quality of the line work. If you look at how jagged and rough his line work is, it just doesn't flow and it seems to be really holding back an otherwise sleek and sexy design. Every time he stops when he's drawing, your eye stops as well. When you draw, you wanna draw through the form. You wanna draw through the volume. You wanna create a three-dimensional object in a two-dimensional space. That's your job when you draw a car, as opposed to the rough and scratchy quality that we see here. It doesn't flow. The second thing we want to look at is line weight. Look at this door cut. It's heavy handed. Door cuts should be precise and clean. So relative line weight is very, very important in your car design drawings. Lastly, we'll look at the wheels. During BK's tutoring session, I talked to him about having the car not look like it's sinking into the ground and to focus on the fundamentals. Make those ellipses, get them nice and correct, get them accurate and make the car look like it's sitting on the ground in space, not sinking into it. So that's the goal, is to improve this car sketch using those three basic fundamental ideas. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put in my ground plane. This gives me a platform, a space that the car is going to sit on in the world. Next thing I'll do is find the location for my front wheel, put in my vertical axis, and throw a couple of lines back so I know where my rear wheel is going to be in space at some point. Again, drawing from my shoulder, putting in that front ellipse, one motion, one movement. Put in my center line and throw that line back in space. Count off my ellipses and put my rear wheel somewhere around three wheels back. The rear ellipse is 15 degrees shallower than the front one, typically in this view, in case you were wondering how narrow to make the rear wheel. Throw my axles in, cross the space. Put in my front hub and the air holes in the rim as per BK's drawing. Now the rear one, now you're going to see a little bit less on the rear because the rear wheel's further away and that's why the hub is deeper inside the dish than the front one. So I'll start in with my fender line into the belt line and then my cowl. Again, drawing from my shoulder, big sweeping arcs, big sweeping motions, drawing through the volume, drawing across the page. Come down, plant the car on the road, plant the car on the ground. Find visually where the other end, the far end of the car is, and bring it back around. Where's my A pillar? right where it touches down around the front wheel, up into the header, across the top of the DLO, and back into the backlight. So in a very short time, I've got my theme underway. Again, I'm defining the volume with just a couple of strokes in a very short amount of time. I'm defining the volume of this vehicle. So 
I'm going to do the front end a little bit blockier than what BK had. I'm trying to keep everything in the frame here, so just bear with me on that. And we've got this air intake in the body side. So again, notice all the movement is coming from my shoulder. My hand, as it's, on its, as its own element, hardly moves. Once I lock the pencil in my hand, my hand moves because my shoulder is moving. My hand is not moving on its own. That's how I'm getting this quality of line work, this very flowing, sort of organic line quality. And we'll just add a little element here of a spoiler in the back. So here comes my door cut. Again, very clean, very simple, very fast. Throw those lines across, get the far side mirror in. Come back with some hood detail. And there was a lot of things that BK did really well in his sketch. And I do want to point those out as we go along. One thing he did really well was to draw the interior of the vehicle. He blocked that out very nicely. And I'm just going to basically copy what he did with the front seats and the far side DLO. So kudos to you, BK, for uh, doing a good job and putting in the interior of, of your car. And it helps define the upper as, as transparent, translucent, that it's made out of glass. When you can see through those panels, those panes on the upper part of the car to the interior, your eye recognizes that those are headrests. And that allows the upper to become transparent to your eye. Your mind creates that visually on the page. Come back in, again, sitting the car on the ground. Now that I've got some body lines in space, I'm much more comfortable in blocking in that vehicle on the ground. And you can see how just a couple of lines right there really set that car much more firmly onto the page, onto the ground that it's sitting on. You don't want your cars to look like they're floating in space. Come in to find the lower fascia. So you can see right there, and as I go around the wheel here, I'm working back and forth between drawing with my shoulder and drawing with my hand, depending on what the needs are in any given moment during the time I'm sketching. So that's important to, to make a note of that. Here I'm defining the rear part of the rim, the part of the rim that's open. And you can see now as I Put that circle in, that far ellipse. That's the back edge of the rim. It's the back edge of the wheel. And I'm just blocking in here my reflection pattern. If I was going to move to a fully shaded design or go to color at some point, that's what those lines I just drew were. Horizontally splitting the car in half. So as you can see, it's only been a couple of minutes. And we've got the car pretty much blocked in. We've got a theme. And all the lines flow. Our ellipses are drawn cleanly. Throw in a little shadow here for the uh, mirror. And now I'm going to work on line weight. If you notice, all the line weights of the sketch pretty similar. There's a couple of ones on the far side that are a little darker, but now I'm going to come back and I'm going to darken things up to make some of the line weights different. I'm going to add a variety of line weights to improve the quality of the sketch, to tell a better story about this car, about this theme that I'm creating. And that's what line weight really does. That's, that's what all of these elements really do, is they all add up to a story about this design that you want to have created. So 
So all of this is really, again, just planting the car on the ground, getting it to look solid, getting it to look like a three-dimensional object in a two-dimensional space. And if you notice how I use the tissue as well, is I, I draw through the car with the tissue just like I'm doing with my pencil. I don't try to control it too much. I let the tissue do the work and I let the tissue create the atmosphere that I'm looking for by smearing the pencil and getting that little bit of a, of a fade going on the page. So because these are concave wheels, I'm going to shade the upper part of the rim, come back with my tissue, and give it that real deep dish look. Because the pencil gets smeared and faded, I'll come back and redefine those ellipses. So within that one wheel, I've got 5, 10, 11 ellipses going inside the main ellipse. And now I'm adding another five more for the lead-in for the lug nuts. So being able to draw a clean ellipse is very, very important in car design drawings. I'm not going to go too crazy in this sketch with the reflections. Those will come later in different videos because I want to focus on, again, line weight, line quality, and wheels. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. You'll notice that I do try to answer all of the questions that anybody asks in any of the videos. Please subscribe. We want to build the channel. And uh, the more people that watch and the more people that subscribe, the more motivated we are to do more videos. So that always helps. If you do want to improve and get this kind of tutoring one-on-one -on -one live over the internet, over Skype, go to howtodrawcars.net and sign up for a tutoring session. Our students are doing amazing. They're getting accepted to major design universities and the quality of their sketches is improving beyond their expectations. I'd like to thank BK for letting us use his sketch in the video. And once again, thanks for watching.